All right, so that'll do it from here. But coming up next, it's the Giants and the Jets in the Battle of the Big Apple. Mike Green and Bill Moss will be calling all the action. So right now, let's send you out to the Meadowlands in New Jersey. As Art Linkletter once said, kids say the darndest things. It's going to be a joke, and I think the Jets are going to win. The Giants have no offense. The Giants are going to win. And Neil O'Donnell stinks on the Jets. Um, I hope the Giants win, and if they don't, then they'll be in big trouble. I don't really know who's going to win, because they both stink. Who's the team that you guys like? 49ers. 49ers. weather day in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Heavy rains predicted on and off throughout the afternoon. In fact, two to three inches expected in the tri-state area in a game where the football eyes of New York are upon Giants Stadium. This afternoon, the New York Jets host the New York Giants. Good afternoon, everyone, along with Bill Moss and Mike Green. It has been a rough week for the Giants and the Jets because of all the ridicule had to take. They've called it the Super Bowl. Today is referred to as Black Sunday, the battle for New York gagging rights. It's been a source of ridicule for the media and the fans. Players are serious, and they're confident they can turn it around, especially the Jets. Well, Mike, the Jets have reason to be confident. I mean, you look at this team on film, and they got their players jump out at you. They spend a lot of money in the offseason on free agency, and these guys are accomplished veterans. They can get things done. Their problem has been the offensive line. They just haven't gelled yet because they haven't played together long enough. This is their only second week together since training camp. They have high hopes for the offense today, but how does the weather come into play now? Well, you have to run the ball. Both these teams watch for them to pound the ball. Now, the Jets have a banged-up defensive front, and that's going to be key because to stop Rodney Hampton, you should see him pound the ball. This guy's been doing it for years, whether it's rain or sun or whatever it's going to be. This guy can pound it. They're going to have their hands full stopping him. Do not underestimate the fact that these two teams are desperate for a win. And these New York fans braving the conditions in hope of witnessing the first New York football win of a season. We'll have the opening kickoff when we return after these messages from your local station. Fox, home of Super Bowl 31.